series of ash piles that he is in the middle of, he rises again, almost stronger, almost more vindictive, almost more more empowered. Think about, you know, he's the only president who's been impeached twice, and he emerged from both of them um, more beloved by his supporters and and more frightening in their private moments, Republicans will admit, more frightening to them because they are more chained ever to his base and his connection with that base. And that is, is his magic. That's Carol Lennig, reporter with the Washington Post and co-author of the book, A Very turn that off now because we Trump, as well as Franklin Foer, staff writer at The Atlantic and author of The Last Politician, a biography of Joe Biden. Thanks to both of you. I guess we've got eight more months to talk about all of this. Uh -huh. Thank you, Scott. Always shitting on Trump. Uh-huh. I think the social district starts over here somewhere. Really? I think so. You didn't see a sign? No. Here's one establishment. So. It's got a purple sticker in the window. No, it doesn't. Here's the uh, jackalopes. Is that what we're going to eat? No. You're listening to Legion. all these Legions, Legions on uh, Thomas and Commonwealth. Okay. Hello and welcome in. It's 518 and you're listening to All Things Considered here on 90.7 WFAE and WFAE.org. I'm Ben Cole. Coming up later on All Things Considered, NPR Scott Detrow speaks with Charles Duhigg about his new book, Super Communicators, and how he's trying to help readers have better conversations. This place that we park at is right after the railroad tracks, right? Yep. park on the side road so a lot of them had no parking signs yeah oh there's parking here we're all right well there was but somebody looks in there taking it Oh shit, I don't remember this. Um, 
Well, we're not staying here, so it doesn't matter. Well, what? Let me find the app and all that stuff before we get out. Okay. Let's go and attempt this uh, 